Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Professor Sistrunk, and I'm reaching out to my students. Okay, students, you always hear about me saying practice, 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 and that's what you're about to see me do. We are about to practice. So I'm gonna run a series of labs and packet traces that will demonstrate us practicing getting our skill our art our talent up to par okay so let's go ahead this lab is initializing and reloading a router in a switch now we will be doing the bulk of our work inside of cisco's packet tracer and i want you guys to get used to this cisco packet tracer because you do not need all the fancy dancy stuff. You just need to be able to go into this application and work the talent. Show that you have the skills. Work it, work it, work it by using this. This is from Cisco. It's absolutely free. In my next, my very next video log, I'm gonna demonstrate how you can go in here on Cisco's website and begin to take a class in this packet tracer and learn all the tools and bells and whistles on how to use it. If you get really good at using this device, you will not have to worry about getting an IT job in the industry doing networking. Trust me when I say that. This is Professor Sistrong. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to build out. This is your topology, so you see exactly what devices you need to use. You have network devices here, and you have end devices here, and you have your cables. So let's go get our networking devices. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to click on networking devices, and then I'm going to click on the router. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose this route here. I'm also go here, go down here and choose the switch. I'm choosing the 2900 series. I'm gonna do a quick alteration on here. I'm gonna change it so it can say router one or R1. And I'm gonna change the switch so it can say switch one. We have that. So you can see a simple alteration right there now i'm gonna go down here and get two end devices which will be pc so i'm gonna come over here choose one pc here put it right there and choose another pc here now as time go on with using packet tracer okay here we go we're gonna click on the connectors and i'm gonna choose here now this is a console cable this is how we console into the switches and routers to do work. And as you see here, I just made an error. Let's go fix that error. I need to choose the console. I'm gonna do it slow on the next one so you can see why I made the mistake. I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna choose RS232. And then I'm gonna go up here and choose right here the console tell me what is rs232 and why did we use that you know you can put it in the comments and i'll read it and respond back to you okay with that being said now you see i have the setup i have a topology here and i have a topology here now let's proceed down so the first part we're going to work on will be the router so I want you to always understand your objectives. They're important. You set up devices in the network. So you, by looking at this topology, you know how to set up devices. And you'll do that in the classroom with me. You'll do that online with me. All we're doing is initializing a router and we're going to reload it and we're going to initialize a switch and we're going to reload that. The scenario is this. Before starting a Cisco hands-on lab that makes use of either the Cisco router or switch, ensure that the devices in use have been erased. 
Now, what you need to know about that is if you're in a production environment, working for a network department, you have to make sure whether the router is brand new or being reused, that it is clean. And that's why we erase these devices. So I may be taking this router out of service, erasing it to put it back in service in another area. Or I might get a brand new router or a brand new switch to use. So that's why we do that. And you can see that we're using the 4300 series and we're using the 2900 series for the switches. Now, in reality, if we were in the, in the work world, in the industry, in the department, we would be using an application called Putty or an application called TerraTurn. Now, these are terminal emulators. So we use these, these particular software packages to make sure we have a secure network. Remember that when we routing into the switch and we connecting to the router, we wanna make sure that it is secure, okay? And we use a console cable, but the application, the software application will either be putty or turbo attorney. It depends on whatever your company is using. If you are in the company using it, tell me which one you use it in the comments. Also, now we have this set up. Remember that this particular cord, this cable here, which we call a console cable, is a Cisco proprietary cable. Remember that. Okay, now let's go get the work done. So the first thing I want to do is I want to initialize the router and reload. So I'm going to go in here inside the PC. I'm going to go to my desktop and then I'm going to go to the terminal and click OK and I am here. Now you, you notice here, it has a initial setup that we will not do. Remember that you can see that down here. Now, most routers and switches come with a way to set it up manually. That's what I'm gonna do, set it up manually, but you can always, you can also go in here and put a little script in here and set it up. We're not gonna do that. So I'm gonna go say no to that. And you can see that I'm at, a, at the command prompt right here. And that's why I want to be. Now, the first command is the command called enable. I want you to start typing these commands out because I need you to learn it. I know you are new to this and I want you to type them out. Now, if you're an advanced user, you're in the wrong place. This is for the newbies. Give them their time so they can learn. Now, this command is called enable. This allows you to escalate to the next level, which is called the privilege level. So you want to make sure privilege exec is where we at now when we see that pound symbol, symbol in there. Okay, the next command we're going to type in is erase. If you notice, I'm typing it out because that's what I want you to do. Erase and we're gonna say config, which means configuration, okay? So now we erase in that configuration and as you can see, it has been completed, that's great. And the last thing we're gonna do is click on, let me type in reload, okay? Reload, okay, and we're gonna do that. So this is how we erase a router and a switch. Now, with this, we got another step to do, but this is basically how we erase it. And as you can see down here, it's going through the steps to erase it. You can see that everything is erased. This is important for you as a network person to use, and you can see that we completed that task. Now, I'm gonna stop right here because I wanna point out a couple of things. And that's simply this. You have to know this command, enable. You have to know this command here, erase startup configuration. And you must know this command here, reload. And it's simple, erase startup configuration command removes the startup configuration from the non-volatile random access memory. So if you have a configuration in your system 
this here, this command will remove it. And also with the reload, the reload, it states it here, command to remove an old configuration from memory. So we moved the old configuration, now we wanna reload the software so it can be fresh. That's all you have to do for the switch. Excuse me, this is the router. That's all you have to do for the router. Now we're gonna move to the switch. Okay, we are back and now we are looking at the switch. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the switch, but we're gonna add in a couple of more things that I need you to remember, Stu Combs. So we're gonna go into the PC and we're gonna go to the desktop terminal and click on that. And we can see that the switch is ready to go. Okay, you can see it right here. You know I have to escalate it to the next level and you're gonna type in the command enable. So we in privilege exec mode. So the first thing I'm gonna do is search and take a look at my flash. That's the memory that's in the PC. I wanna make sure that that memory is clean. If you look on my screen, you can see we have information here that demonstrates that stuff is in there. But on the packet tracer, we only have the actual iOS loaded, okay? And it says here, use show flash command to determine if any VLANs have been created on the switch. And we can see that there are none, no v VLAN. But we still gonna walk through the command and clean up a few things here. So it had it been some VLANs on, on the switch, we would have just simply typed in this command, delete. The delete command would clean it off, VLANs. And don't worry, we gonna teach you everything about VLANs as we proceed on. So as you can see, that will just confirm that I cleaned off switch or got rid of any VLAN. Now we're gonna go to the same command. We're gonna erase. Remember, you're gonna type this out. No shortcut, people, I mean it. No shortcut. Get used to typing out the commands for now because you're learning the commands and we wanna get used to it. So you know what erase startup config actually will do? Reload, okay. so. We're going to get everything back up and running. You can see that it is actually reloading here. Get it into service, okay? And you will do this, like I said, once again, when you have a new switcher router or when you're taking a router and switch and putting it back in service, you want to clean it off. Okay, get rid of any configuration. So when I say clean off, I mean any prior configurations that we had on this. Now let's do a quick reflection so you'll know the purpose of this. You use approximately five commands, enable, erase, startup, config, reload, show flash, and also we took a look at the vlan.file. But we know that the vlan.file would be with delete. So we're gonna type in delete, we got it. So we have the delete, and I'm gonna do a quick check to make sure I didn't miss anything else. Nope, delete, dot, that is. Okay, with that being said, all we would have to do now is to just remember these commands. Just remember these commands, people. It's important. These are the start commands that you will have to remember. So my expectation is that you will remember. We are gonna build on the commands and how to take control of commands as we proceed through each and every one of these labs. 